Hey, it is uh, April 27th, 2012. It's about, must be about 8 p.m. Sitting out on the front porch, trying out some new, uh, you know, some uh, just taping in some different places to see what the light is like. I didn't make any vlogs yesterday. Um, I'm kind of a little bit behind on answering comments and emails and stuff and um, I, I wasn't feeling good uh, today either. I took about a four hour nap but it was just one of them girl type of things, nothing nothing uh, terrible, you know, just don't feel that great. So, anyway, um, I am a I have decided to go ahead and start the channel um, for the uh, food forest um, starting tomorrow or Sunday. Sunday, I'm going to get some information together that I want to share. And um, one thing that I did decide to do is that I'm going to keep that one little small area down there where I first started. I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, hit this big area that we cleaned up a couple of weeks ago, the original garden spot. And then what I'm going to do is, down there where that small lot is like, I'm going to make a mini food forest down there um, to uh, for people who have smaller yards. I want you to be able to see how much you can plant in a very small area. So I'm going to do a mini food forest for um, viewers who have a small growing spot. And I'm going to also... Um, really do a lot of container, uh, a lot more informational container gardening, which is my favorite way to garden. Um, I sub to, you know, Mel's basket case, and she had a situation where um, she wanted to plant a garden, a vegetable garden in her front yard, and she lives um, in a city, you know. Ends up that um, even her backyard <laughs> isn't apparently deep enough. You have to have something like 36 feet away from the roadway to plant a garden there, which I'd never heard of. Um, I know that uh, most people don't put food gardens in their front yard just because, you know, the way, it, uh, you know, you put your ornamentals in the front, your food in the back, and, and um, but it should be up, you know, to a certain person's prerogative if they want to plant a vegetable garden in the front or not. And so, um, anyway, I suggested to her that she, you know, get around that by doing a lot of container gardening and not, you know, um, planting a big garden in the front yard, but you can still get a lot. She may even be able to get more food out of the containers. So, um, you know, it sounds a little bit over, <laughs> over ambitious for somebody that doesn't garden that much to decide that I'm going to do that, but um, container gardening, a mini food forest, and then the larger, uh, you know, um, on the big scale, the, the whole yard food forest. But, mm, right now I'm just watering because um, the, uh, <coughs> the tires don't take that much water, and it hasn't been that hot, so the, the water's not evaporating really quickly. Um, when it gets warmer, we're going to have an evaporation problem. By then, I will have my drip system set up. And um, and I will do that step by step. So this, this is whoever wants to jump in and start your own. Or uh, this is also going to be a great channel for people who have not done it before and are kind of learning trial and error along with me. So, and I, I'm going to cover everything. I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to cover, you know, some soil testing, which I've never done. Um, I can just kind of tail when my dirt's the way I like it. But um, I'm going to do some real soil testing probably in the next week or so. I'm going to send off for that. And uh, we'll do the, uh, uh, start setting up some watering systems. And um, a little bit later, I'm going to get out all the seeds that we have to plant and show you what we're working with there. And also this weekend I'm gonna hope to get some more live plant spot because um, that's not gonna be enough down there. 
So I want I want a lot more life because I want um, you know I want to see some real uh, some real fruit coming coming forth pretty quickly you know um, and normally I would have grown those indoors and have those ready to go out so um, and I will be doing that from now on as much as I have outside growing I'm, I will have seeded inside as well so. Uh, it was so windy today. Oh my gosh, it was so windy. And now it's beautifully still, of course. So I'm going to clean up the kitchen. Um, I didn't cook much today. I didn't feel good. I think everybody had pretty much TV dinners and fin for yourself. Took mom for the food box this morning. Met a couple nice people there with my friend Eric. He was there with some friends of his. I remember... Oops, the man's name I think was Johnny, but I can't remember the lady's name, but she's very nice. I'll, I'll, I'll get to know her better because she is a really nice lady from Arizona. And that's about it. So tomorrow, Saturday, um, I'm going to try to get out early. I did get a lot done yesterday, and I have a video of it. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want to... Um, wait until absolutely everything is done or if I want to go ahead and share the progress that I made yesterday and I'm thinking I might go ahead and do that um, it's not perfect but I think um, you know for the for a fellow hoarder it could be very inspiring <laughs> so I, I think that I will go ahead and uh, and um, post that video those those videos tonight of um, facing the final frontier, the last of the horde, which has taken me um, in June will be two years. So that's not bad. That's not bad. Uh, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve rooms completely hoarded up. And um, now it's it's all it's all done. There's just a few more boxes, a little bit more stuff. There's a giant ton of stuff for yard sales. And um, I may even decide to have a yard sale tomorrow. If it's nice, I may put some stuff out for a yard sale, too. I invite my mom over. She didn't get to come play in the dirt the other day. She wasn't feeling good. And it was a little bit windy. Oh, there's a the little girl calling. Okay, I had to run in and check on Olivia. I heard her holler, Nana. She's in there taking a little bubble bath. Um... So, uh, oh, she needed more bubbles. <laughs> um, so anyway, that's all I really wanted to say, I guess, is that I'm going to really start working on that this week. Like, I really need another type of project, but I think that's going to be a lot of fun. And I think it is awesome to start from the very beginning um, to show really how easy it can be, you know. And also because uh, that way it will... Um, give me a little bit of uh, people to network to give me ideas and things that and information that maybe you know that I need to know. So it should be fun. I'm looking forward to it. So we're going on our journey from garden to food forest, which I think is fantastic. I think anything, even if all you can garden for yourself is some, you know, salad stuff, you're better off. I mean, even if all you do is get you one of those little countertop gardens and grow some onions and cucumbers you're better off um, the more you do for yourself organically the better off we're going to be so even though I kind of got pushed up against the wall and I'm not seeing a whole lot of activity I would think everybody in town would be doing this right now um, because I, I mean living without a grocery store I don't know if they're just being naive but um, this could be very difficult you know and yeah, there is a grocery store 30 miles away, but it's 30 miles away. And, um, you know, I think they're just shutting their eyes to the rea reality of it that uh, things are going to change drastically, you know. So anyway, everybody be blessed. Have a great weekend. And um, I'll check in with you guys sometime tomorrow with a little more garden information. Now, what was I telling you about? Oh, the hoarding stuff. Yeah, got that all. I think I will go ahead and upload that tonight. Because uh, I'm proud of how much I got done yesterday on that. So yesterday. Seems like, you know, maybe it was day before yesterday. Or yesterday. I don't know. Yesterday, I guess. No, it was day before yesterday. I have no idea. 
All right, well, be blessed, and I will talk to you all soon, and I love you. Thanks for stopping by. Peace.